With the next generation BMW M2 not due on UK roads until the end of this year, this, the BMW M240i xDrive, is the fastest way to have a 2 Series at the moment. And my God, does it look quick. 374 horsepower comes out of that twin turbocharged 3 litre engine and it's got all wheel drive. It's a two door coupe, it kind of looks exactly how an old M3 would have done only a handful of years ago, obviously buying the fact it only has two doors. I think it's going to be an excellent car for UK roads, maybe the ideal specification for British B roads, which handily we have all around us here just outside Goodwood. So let's hit the road and see how it does. Now for anyone who's driven on roads around Chichester, you'll probably know that it's quite bumpy which means it's a really good test to see how performance cars deal with proper British B roads. And straight away, I can tell you, the M240i is pretty lovely. It's very comfortable, actually. It's riding over some pretty rough and lumpy bumps here with a nice compression to it. It feels sporting. It doesn't roll around like a Rolls Royce, of course, but it does. It does feel really nice. We've only got this car for a very short window of time as well, so I am learning as I talk to you about this car. But right now I'm running around in comfort mode and you could live with this car every day very easily, as easily as you could any other two series. These seats are lovely, so supportive, so comfortable, and BMW driving positions are bang on. Every time I get into a BMW at the moment, especially one in coupe or saloon form, seating position is pretty much ideal and it's honestly such a lovely thing to drive. I don't think I'm totally sold on the looks, quite like the front end, not so sure about the back end, but from inside it feels really really premium. You've got BMW's mixture of old and new switch gear down here with actual buttons which I really like, then you've got the touchscreen display in the middle which can be controlled with the rotary knob down here, again something I really really like and your digital instrument cluster ahead, which works really well, looks really good. No complaints whatsoever there. Just this slightly fat steering wheel that I'm still not completely sold on with BMWs. They quite like having a thick rim and I just think it kind of robs you a little bit of some steering feel, but, well, it's lovely to drive and I think I've said that quite a lot. So shall we pick up the pace a bit? Oh, one sec, before we turn up the pace, don't forget to click the subscribe button if you like what you're watching. And if you fancy yourself a BMW, well, remember you can find loads on cinch.co.uk because we have the biggest range of cars to buy entirely online. Right, sport mode. Let's whack it down into individual, which is the mode I've set at the moment with everything in sport barring the damping. This car, all wheel drive, a two wheel drive model is due later in the year. But this car as it sits here, has the all wheel drive, so it's the X drive model, has adaptive dampers, it's got a really nice composed feeling. This road is very, very bumpy. I've driven down it dozens and dozens of times. And some cars, I feel like I'm about to lose my teeth when I'm going along this route, but this car in comfort rides so nicely. And it's got that lovely feeling to the damping where yes, the car is quite firm and you can feel it moving around with ruts and cambers, but the damping just softens the edge of everything you come across, even when it's a big hole in the road. So. You look at a bumper, you look at a hole and you start to wince, but it never becomes a big deal. The car just rolls over it cleanly. And it picks up nicely. Woo. This is a muscular machine. I mean, they're heavy these days. This is over 1.7 tons, but it just gets up and goes. I mean, straight up to the speed limit there. It's quick, quick enough, but you do still have to work it as well. I think this, this kind of car now, 374 horsepower, all right, 1.7 tons ain't light, but it does enable this car to feel quick, but not ridiculously fast so that you spend your entire time looking down at the speedo and worrying about speed cameras. You can drive it and work out the engine nicely. And because of the four wheel drive, you don't have to worry about traction. If I slow right down here, this is a lovely empty section of road. What we can do, if I stick it into sport, Plus, so now even the damping's in sport. Let's do a start, shall we? I actually didn't change up in time there. That's the speed limit. That's quick. 4.3 seconds to 62 is the claim time. I do not doubt that for one second. It's quick enough, really gets up and goes. Zero traction issues on a warm spring day like today. <laughs> it's, it's rapid, honestly. But now let's feel how it is in the corners because it's a 240i, it's an M240i, not 
the M2, which is coming later this year. So it's inclined to not be 100% sports focused, but here's a good bend here. It feels quick on the front axle, very quick on the front axle. That is responsive, very quick steering ratio. And you can start to feel the car move around. That's lovely. They've plumbed in a bit of, bit of agility there, but you're so secure because you've got the all-wheel drive system. Oh, the gearbox is so quick as well. This is an eight-speed automatic with the shift paddles on the back of the steering wheel, and it is quick to respond. Weirdly as well, there's a little bit of a kick when you put your foot down through a corner. So there is evidence that they've put more torque to the rear and you can feel the car rotating a little bit under power, a little bit like a rear wheel drive car would, but then you've got the security knowing that the front end is also hauling you out of the bend, giving you all the grip you need so that you can straighten the car up straight away. It's a really easy thing to drive enthusiastically on these rows. It's really on your side. God, and these bumps are ridiculous. This road is so rough and I've now got the damping in sport and I might be jiggled around a little bit. Honestly, this road is falling to pieces on the outside, but there's no harshness to the way the car's riding. It's really, really composed. One thing I will say though, is these engines nowadays, with all of the filters, they're not quite as loud as they used to be. And so you've got this lovely six cylinder tone, but not quite, it doesn't sound quite like it's coming all from the engine. There's a little bit of synthesized sound in there, I think but it is a nice sound and I like the little snarl from the exhaust when you change up gear, the little snort you get there. It's quite cool, it's quite interactive, it feels, feels engaging for it. Oh, such a nice sounding engine when you're on it though. Brakes as well, they're nice and progressive. Again, as I've said before, BMW brake pedal feel doesn't it doesn't shout through into your uh, your toes, but <laughs> but it does it does really really feel easy to to modulate the brakes, and you are just always on top of the car. Let's switch down so I can turn off now some of the stability systems just to see how the car feels through some of the more open corners. Just see how it reacts without the electronics holding me back. This is a lovely corner up here. Yeah, so you do get a bit of kick from the rear end and it's, it's nice, but it's not super hunkered down. There is a little bit of movement in the car and it does lift a little bit, kind of raises up on the back end as well as you turn in quickly, just as the inside rear lifts up because it's not the full M2, not yet anyway. That's coming later, of course. But I don't think that's a bad thing. I think on these roads, you do want a little bit of suppleness and you want it to be a bit more forgiving, which this thing is. Also, it doesn't feel that big on the road, which is a good thing because as we know, UK roads can be quite narrow, which means you don't have that much room to play. But this car here actually fits within the widths of a normal B road very easily. A lot of people say that the M2 of last generation and now this M240i of the latest two series generation are kind of like the E33 series of yesteryear, the legendary first gen M3. And yeah, I think that still stands true because they're relatively compact cars for this day and age. I say relatively, because of course, I'm sure you could park something that was big in the 80s next to one of these and this thing would dwarf it, but they're not that big. And certainly if you drive modern cars, you'll jump into one of these and feel entirely comfortable, especially when it lets you <laughs> kick about like that under power. Good fun car this is, good fun car. Right, so we're back at Goodwood and I've had a few more miles in this car and I have to say, I really, really like it. This engine is so brawny and that gearbox is so fast to react. Oh, and the front end of this thing is so glued to the ground. It's so much fun to drive. It handles all the bumps and lumps of Goodwood's rows fantastically well. And it's a really, really exciting driver's car. Okay, doesn't have anywhere near as much steering feel or brake pedal feel as a Porsche Cayman, but you've got two seats in the back of this thing, so it's a really good all-rounder. The rear-wheel drive car that's coming up later this year is gonna be very exciting. I can't wait to drive that, but for now, this thing is epic for 50K. All in here, just under 50K if you get a base one. 
fantastic, fantastic machine. If you like this video, don't forget to click the like button below and of course subscribe. We've got loads more videos coming up and we've got quite a few on BMWs actually coincidentally, a few of which you can find if you go through our car review section right now. So see you soon. Right, what car am I going to drive next? Hmm.